Here is Chief Meteorologist Randy Turner. Let's get right to it. Starting with weather headlines, we have the tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight. Much hotter by the middle part of the week, but much cooler by Friday. And Saturday already looking a little bit stormy and rainy here across the Concho Valley. Storm Prediction Center says that we're in a level 2 slight risk here in the yellow area, northern Concho Valley, for wind and large hail. And indeed, we do have some storms that are firing up out there. Uh, we have a tornado watch until 9 o'clock tonight, San Angelo included in that, all of Tom Green, as well as Runnels, Coke, Sterling, and Erion and Reagan County, Glasscock County as well. Right now, we have a warning up here just north of our area into the Colorado City area. So here's a look at the satellite radar imagery, and you can tell that we've got some storms and big ones firing up. But this is on I-20, right about Colorado City right now. At the top of the newscast, we showed you Sterling County under a severe thunderstorm warning. But this storm has moved northeast, so Sterling County no longer and Coke County no longer in the severe thunderstorm warning. It looks like a lot of the activity this evening may indeed stay just to the north of our area. But we're still under the tornado watch. We'll keep an eye on things. We have some showers, and these are certainly not severe. But a few light rain producers down there, Kimball County as as well as Menard County. Those are headed to the northeast. Right now in San Angelo, 93 degrees. We've got plenty of moisture in the air, 58 degree dew point, humidity 30%, south wind at 18. Got up as high as 95 so far today. Here are the current temperatures around the region. We've got most of the heat from San Angelo northward, Robert Lee at 96, Sterling City at 95. But uh, mid 80s here, Menard 83, El Dorado 85, Sonora coming in at 82 degrees here at the 5 o'clock hour. Well, as we look ahead, the future cast is showing that these storms will tend to fire up. Up on the dry line out to the west and perhaps tonight by 630 we may see a few more trying to get going and then by later tonight maybe some showers down here on I-10 but for the most part I think this is going to be a very hit and miss type situation but where the storms fire up they can really get strong in a hurry and drop mainly some hail and high winds as we go into Tuesday afternoon just clouds coming and going we go into Wednesday morning still mostly cloudy Wednesday afternoon mostly cloudy so it it looks like this for tonight. We'll leave a rain chance at 30 percent. Isolated storms, some severe, and the low temperature about 60 degrees. Now tomorrow it's going to get hot again. 90 degrees, the projected high. We should have quite a bit of cloud cover around. It may help to keep the um, the temperatures from getting hotter, but still plenty toasty at 90. The wind out of the west at 10 to 20. There's a lot going on in the weather this week. 92, mostly sunny to partly cloudy Wednesday. 97 on Thursday, 20% chance of storms again. That goes up to 30% on Friday. We've got a strong cold front coming in on Thursday from 97 to 79. 77 and rain likely now Saturday. There you see the rest of the forecast. Be quite a bit cooler this weekend.